Have you ever wondered what these three balls are doing in a cockpit? They're not switches and you can't move them. Search as you might, you won't find them in smaller GA aircraft like the Cessna 172. And they're not in the smaller helicopters either. But you will find them in aircraft such as Cessna's CJ-4 and most other twin-seated jets, but not in some of the older birds, like the venerable DC-6, or even the more modern King Air. But they're commonplace in most larger aircraft and airliners, and you usually find them on the windscreen center support strut. Welcome to the Sim Hangar. my name's Mark, thanks for watching and let's get started. This instrument is an important part of a pilot's initial preparations, and it's a visual indicator to both co-pilot and pilot that their head and thus their eyes are in the correct position that will allow them to scan both primary instruments and look outside the cockpit by just moving their eyes and not their heads. Something critically important, especially when flying in difficult weather. These three balls are your eye position indicator. Let's have a quick look how they work. Using the default Airbus 320 as our example, we can see the three balls here. Their positioning and configuration is deliberate to help the pilot ensure that his head and eyes are in the correct position to ensure maximum visibility. And in the real Airbus, there's a whole host of different electronic adjustments as well as manual adjustments to the seat to ensure the pilot can position himself correctly. Now, although we don't have that functionality within the sim, we are able to simulate exactly the same thing. So, let's see how it works. Let's start from the default pilot's position, and if we look towards the eye position indicator, we will see the red ball is to all intents and purposes fully covering the ball behind it. This is our visual reference that our head is in the correct position. To demonstrate this, let's set up the co-pilot's position. We're going to need to move around the cockpit, so I'm just going to adjust the cockpit camera, as the default movements are somewhat aggressive. I'm going to turn the free look speed down to 10% minimum, and turn the momentum right down. This will give me finer control in my movements. So what we're going to do is we're just going to shift across to the co-pilot's position, then using the eye position indicator, set up our view so that we align the red ball with the white left hand ball behind it. I've now adjusted my horizontal view, now to adjust my vertical view to take in the basic instruments as well. I can now see my PFD and a good view outside the cockpit. Just align to make sure I'm straight. Quick check just to make sure the red ball is just covering the white ball. I can just see a fringe of the white ball. That's good or it indicate I'm too close. I'm aligned with the balls, so now if I look down I should be aligned directly in the center of the seat. Let's check that. Using the mouse to change my position, it does skew it a little bit, just straighten up. That looks fairly central to me. Now to adjust my position again, set it where I want it. That looks perfect. I'm now going to save this as a custom view. And I do that by hitting Control alt and I'm going to use the number 1. And by doing that, at any time that I want to recall this view, I hit Alt and 1, and I'll have this view. And I'll know it's the correct co-pilot's position. I've reset to the pilot's position, and now Alt 1, and that's the view I set up. The ball is aligned, and I'm centrally placed. All good. I could do the same thing for the pilot's position if I wasn't happy with where I was. Let's now set up a custom pilot's view. The red ball is covering the white ball behind it, and they're both approximately the same size. I just need to move up. That looks perfect. It's fully covering it and roughly the same size. Now change my vertical view. Now I'm going to hit Control alt 2 to save this position. We can now test that. I am now going to hit Alt-1 to the co-pilot position. There we are. That's as we set it up. And now Alt-2 back to the pilot's position. All good. For the pilot's position, of course, we can check that we are centrally placed by once again looking down and we should be in the center of the seat, which we are. Having now set that up, I know that I've got realistic pilot and co-pilot positions giving me best visibility. If you fly in VR, just a quick visual check that the balls are aligned is a great and quick way to make sure that you're centrally and correctly placed for the flight. When I enter a cockpit in VR, it's almost the very first thing that I check. 
In the real world, of course, there's a whole lot of other adjustments that pilots do, including to the armrest, to ensure the joystick movement only requires wrist movement and allow finer control and so on. But in sim, well, we don't have to worry about that. The eye position indicator is a simple yet effective tool that professional pilots use as part of their toolkit in prep for a safe flight. My thanks to Brian Decker for suggesting this video. And I hope for at least some of you sim pilots out there, this has been useful and informative. If it has, then give the video a thumbs up, it helps the viewership and the channel as a whole. Keep the blue side up, Captains, I'll see you all very soon, and bye for now.